Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic as we carry on our bonus content two videos a day during lockdown. And I think Simon's done a monstrous puzzle earlier today, so I don't know if this is going to be light relief, but hopefully it should be a little easier than that. Um, this puzzle is a between Sudoku from William Arbuckle and the rules as well as normal Sudoku rules are that any digit that's in between two gray cells, either in a row, a column, or on a diagonal, like those ones, the digit in between must be between the values of the outside digits. That's the only rule required. Now, that reminds me that um, we there is a World Sudoku um, competitive fraternity, and just we I mention this occasionally. We've got a lot of new viewers lately though, so I'm just going to mention it again that there is a World Sudoku Championship every year for which each country is invited to submit a team of four players. Um, it's judged obviously on accuracy and speed. You turn up somewhere in the world um, and compete. Now this year's event was due to be in Shanghai. It has been canceled. That's sadly and unsurprisingly the case. What do the world's best Sudoku players do when it's not World Championship season? Well, for the first five or six months of the year, they take part in the Sudoku Grand Prix. And the schedule is here and mentions that the Serbian round, as set by the Serbian Puzzle Federation, is beginning today. So if you're watching this on Friday on or Saturday, you've got until Monday if you want to um, join the site and compete in this. You get an hour and a half, you need a printer uh, to print the puzzles out, I would have thought. And there is an instruction book and one of the puzzles is a between Sudoku. Now this is the normal way I think that we're used to seeing the presentation of between Sudoku where the outsides of the betweens are ringed and any numbers on the lines have to be between those numbers both numerically and obviously positionally. Now, as I say, William's done his puzzle a slightly different way with gray cells. So I guess part of the problem is going to be to identify um, all of the necessary areas. We don't have circles and lines in this one. They'd actually clog up the grid quite a lot because there's clearly a lot of between sums possible. So you can try the puzzle before watching the solve on the link below the video. Um, but let's get cracking and mm, okay so right this cell is between a six and a nine so by the rules it has to be seven or eight that's kind of how it works um, it could be an eight given where the eights are positioned Ooh, we've got a couple of sevens so don't forget ordinary sudoku as well Ah, but this seven is in between two cells and there's an eight in the box. So one of them has to be nine. And, and that's going to be useful in the middle column. Look at this column and try and figure out where you're going to put a nine. Now it can't be here because we've just established one of those is a nine. It can't be here because that wouldn't leave room for a number to come between nine and eight. It can't be here because that would need a larger number than eight or nine the other side. The same applies to these two cells for exactly the same reasons as up here. There's a nine here ruling out that one, so nine is down in one of those two. I don't have a feeling it's quite likely to be on the grey cell, but that's certainly not a given. Yeah, look, where is same sort of thing in column two. Where's nine here? We just put it in this box so it's not in those two cells. Again, a nine can never be in the middle of a sum, so it's not there. So it's in one of these three. We've got a nine there ruling out one of them. <laughs> nine is theoretically in one of those two, but it, here, this is actually sandwiched in two different sums, uh, two different betweens, let's call them that. So this can't possibly be a nine. So nine is not can that obviously because nine is here and here. So we've got some nines placed. Um, ah, yes, and look, nine, that's now ruled out those three cells. This very first kind of nine that we put in was ruling out that one. Now, both of these two cells, I'll show them separately in a minute, are also ruled out. 
because they're both betweens. One's in between those two and the other is in between those two. So nine must be here. Nine can never be in between. Um, so I think I was going to say all these three are possible, but they're not. Only two of them are. Uh, oops, wrong sort of nine. Let's put it in the corner. Nine can't be here because look, there's a triangle with that, or a, sorry, a diagonal with that one. What I was going to say about triangles is I think they could be very useful in this puzzle. So here we've got a triangle that goes down to the six. This must come further down to some other number. And whichever way one of these triangles works, there's going to be a high number one in one corner, a low number in one corner, but the other corner is kind of going to be in between. It's going to need to be high, um, smaller, 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 smaller. So there's going to be a run of five cells ascending or descending around one corner of a triangle like that. I think that might prove useful. I don't know for sure. Anyway, so nine's going quite well. Um, up here, I don't think it's as clear where nine could be. Hmm, okay, that might be the end of the trail on the nines. Um, what else can we find to do? Sevens are a bit limited. Eights. No, that could be eight. Not sure where we go next. Yeah, kind of this run of cells is interesting. Can this be higher than six? No, we've just established it can't be a nine. So the only other way it could go up is seven or eight. Yeah, it's just not possible. You'd need either an eight in one of those two or a nine in that one. And that's not going to happen. So this is lower and this is lower still. Um, this is quite limited actually. Seven, four or two it has to be lower than eight. That cell can see all of six, five and three. And this can't be five or six, it clearly can't be seven. There wouldn't be room in between that and eight. So that's one, two, three, or four. This one must be between two numbers that are one, two, three, or four. So it's two or three. Um, and this now must be below two or three. So it's one or two. And now we've got a one, two, three, four um, quadruple. And where does five go in this box? Look at that five and that five must go here. And that place is a nine. Excellent. And now we've got a six, seven pair there. Okay, that gives us some progress. That really feels like progress. I don't think this puzzle is easy myself. Um, hmm. Now three has to be in one of these three because it's not there. So that can't be a three. But this could still be a one. If it was, that would be two there, three there, four there, seven there. One, three, four, seven. Oh, this could still be two or five. Hmm. Okay, so what else can we find? Sure, we have to keep working on this stuff that we've been getting done here. Um, oh, well, that's very unrestricted, isn't it? Ah, oh, but there's a triangle here. Is that useful? Eight, five, seven. So this has to be lower. Six, four, three, or two. This must be one, two, three, or four. That must go down. And again, yes, look, we've got one, two, three, or four. So this is two or three, and look, there's a three there, so we know it's not three. Actually, we knew that one wasn't three as well, so that's now four or six. These can't be two. One of them must be one. This isn't two either. 
Um, ah, and just as we said, one of those had to be three because it wasn't there. One of them has to be four. So that can't have a four, but more importantly, this must be seven. Actually, yes, we could have done that by the ordinary Sudoku, but never mind, we got there. Hmm. Interesting. Now, has that proved anything about these? Not really. Ah, where does nine go in this box? Not in those three or in those three. This one is in between there and there, and that one's in between two. So nine is in one of those two. Um, now that means it's in one of those three. It could be in the gray cell. Oh, it can't be in the top one because we've got a nine in one of those two. Nine's also over here, forming a sort of X-wing with the nines here. Hmm. Five must be in one of those two cells because of the fives now placed. Now, what am I missing? Okay, that's interesting. Can this be higher than six? Only if it was going seven, eight. Let's just put that in as a possibility. Then this one would be going up to eight. So this couldn't be seven anymore, or six, or five, or two. It would be three or four. Now, if that's lower than six, which actually seems more likely, then, then you get a run of up here down to here. So there would be six. This can't be five, and this can't be four. So this could be four. This could be three. No way. That can't be two and one. So I think this has to go up. I think we've just ruled everything out. I just want to check through that. Four here, three, yeah, that would give a two there. So there's no way. So this has to go up. Oh no, one. Of course, this could be the lowest and then that could be higher, yes. Oh, nearly, nearly blundered there. So this could be four or three, that's the alternative. This could be, it's gonna to have to be lower than that. That would have to be, four, three, and this two or one. Oh, it just feels like I've nearly eliminated something there. <laughs> but I don't think I have quite. Oh, this can't be six, seven, eight, because there's a seven or eight there. Idiot, right. My God, I nearly committed to something that was clearly wrong, right. So now we've got a three, four pair there. That's making that one a six, how lovely. What an unexpected way of resolving things. Okay, so this is lower than this. This has to be higher. That makes that four and that three. Yes, so that's four. That can still be either one or two. This is now five because it's in between four and six. This can't be four anymore. It can't be three. It's got to be one. Okay, so Central box complete, how about that now? Two is over here, nine there for there, nine here. And we've got, oh yes, we can do the one for pair. And are we finished in the central three boxes? This has to be between four and nine. So it's seven or eight, and that's the one. Nearly, okay, that's good progress. Now, this can still be four, five, six, or seven. How about here? This, yeah, this is interesting. This has to be in between two different sums, there and there. Now that means it can't be, obviously can't be one, but it also can't be two because that would need two ones in the two sums. So that's three or four. I wish that meant I knew where two was in this column, but I don't. But now look, we've got some other, another unused triangle. Well, we've got one here, 
But I think we know which way around that goes. Actually, yes, that's three or four. Yeah, this must be the intermediate number, which is four or five. Does that mean this has to be eight? Because five, six, and seven already gone in the column. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. And that's four or five. So this is lower. Can't be one. So that's two or three. Wow. So three out of two, three, four, five are gone there. Seven, nine. So eight could still be in one of these two cells. Hmm. That was a useful triangle to look at. This has to be one, two, three, or four, obviously. Yeah, it's not quite conclusive there. Haven't looked at that yet. All kind of these three. Oh yes, there was this triangle up here I was going to look at. So this can't be nine because look, that's eight. You couldn't put anything between them. Okay, that was clearer earlier. Sorry if that's been annoying you. That's my role in some ways, or rather pat yourself on the back for realizing that before me, if you did. Um, now, does that sort anything? Not really, actually. So back to this triangle. The trouble is I don't know which is its base, which is the bottom number. But we've used three and two in the columns and five in the box. Okay, so going up here, seven, six or four there, Six, four, or one there, suspiciously still quite potentially large. This one could be one, two. I was going to say six, seven, or eight. I will leave six still as a possibility. Seven's too near eight. Now that means that this is between one and six because they're the highest and lowest possibilities in both those cells. We've got five, four there. This is two or three. Okay. This is one, two, or six. Could this go down? Six, five, three, two, one, nine. No, but you'd have to fit four, eight, seven there. So this goes up. Um, so this is higher than one. Well, that's not very revelatory. Uh, four, nine, two, one, this is higher than two. Oh, well, that wasn't quite as exciting a conclusion as I'd hoped. But still, that actually, that point is very good. Where does seven and eight go on this row? Not in this box. And now the only places left are actually here and here. So that is quite um, revelatory. Now, five, that's the only cell it can go in left in the cell. We've got a three, seven, six triple down there. Three must be there. That's the only place it can go. This is part of a one, two, six triple in that box. Ah, that seven up here has resolved this eight, seven pair. One, two, and five here. But let's be clear, this cannot be one because one can't be in the middle of a group. Now, could this go up? Yes. Three, five, six, or eight. It seems more likely to go down. Yeah, I just don't know. Now, this is two or three. Yes, these are in between. Oh, still don't know, but five's not any of the, yes, where does five go in one of these two cells? Actually, that's not particularly helpful. Ah, oh, that's got to be between that one and that one. Five and four are gone. Mm. Two, three, six or seven still seem possible, irritatingly. Oh, eight in this top box, though, now has to be here. Um, that's, again, that's probably been available for a while. Eight has to also be in one of these two. Eight there would make that five and that three. That would be absolutely definite. 
that it is possible. 8945. Okay, maybe we need to look at this 3 or 4 here. So, 7, 9, 8 in one of them. This is 1, 2, 3 or 4. We literally can't restrict it anymore, unfortunately. If this was 3, it would need 2 and 1 either side. That would become 4. That would become 5. Mm, you could just still fit 8 and 6 in just. Am I missing something though? 4 there would make 3, 2, 3 here. That would definitely put 3 here. It's still possible. Maybe I'm missing some area where there's something very clear. Done that triangle. I think we've done as much as we can on that one for now. What about if this was four? That would be two or one. Yeah, I don't see why not. This would be six. That's quite possible. Oh, I'm just missing another step now. We're getting very close on this puzzle, and I really don't think that this is an easy puzzle, so I'm not feeling bad about this at all. Now, if this was lower than two or five, it would be one, two, or four. That would put eight here. It is possible. Oh, frustrating. Right. Come on, keep thinking. Two, four, or three, they're the only possibilities there. Two, seven, three, eight, nine, five, one, four, or six there. I just can't see. Maybe I'm missing a connection somewhere. Four, three. No, that seems certain. Oh, look, there it is. One, two. That can't be one. Well, I'm assuming this is going to be significant. Yes, there's a three, four pair in the column. So these two can't be three or four. Ah, now that is interesting down here. If that's one or two, this can't be three now because that would need both one and two to be in the gray cells and one of them is in the white cell. So that's four. This one's three. That can't be three. This has to be five. That makes that not five. Now I've got a one, two pair in column eight. I don't know if that's how I'm meant to get this, but that puts a five there. Ah, oh, this still could be lower or higher. Irritating. Um, five, four. So one of these is one or two. Either this is one or that's two. And whichever it is forms a pair. So this is six or eight forms a triple, I mean, with one, two, three. Okay, so five there means this is a five. So I can get rid of that five. Eight, three, nine, five. That can't be three anymore. Does it, this is resolved where three is in this box. Ah, and that's in a, that's in between. Hmm, doesn't resolve anything. That's one, four, or six, just like that. Oh, come on, I thought I was there. These can't be three, but three could still be there or there in row eight. Five, three, eight, seven. Oh, nine. How, I think I've had that resolved forever and not noticed it. That's embarrassing again. Um, four must be one of these two, but 
Still don't know which one. This could be one, six or eight. Seven, nine, five, eight, three. This has to be two or six. This is one or six. So that three is in the middle. Ah, does that mean? Oh, look, there's a one or two there. So the other one of one or two must be used here. So this can't be a one. It's hardly popping it wide open. Um, oh, what can we learn? Come on. I must be just staring at something and not noticing it at all. If that was a two, oh, there you go. If that was a two, both of these would have to be one. This one because of normal Sudoku, that one because it's in a sum with eight, two, one. So that's not two. So the only place for two in this box now is here. Oh my Lord, that took forever. So that's not a one. Now we've got a four, six pair, so we can fill in two and one, that seems must be right. Yep, six, two resolved. That's a one. That's not oh, four, six. This has to be higher for the sum. So now four has to be here. Good. Six, four. Still can't resolve that six, seven pair. That's all right. This one is resolved. Eight is outside the gray cells, rather surprisingly. Um, so this is three or six. Three, four, six, or one. F mm. I still don't know which way around they go. Fair enough, that's three or four. Five, eight, nine. F one, eight, and four. This has to be eight by just ordinary Sudoku. It's the last eight in the grid. Right, so now this is less than five. Okay. And look how it now comes together. So four is here. That's one and two. That's fixed this. Oh, clever puzzle. Really quite tricky. Something about that was kind of some form of kryptonite to wrap one's head around. It must just work differently from other, other puzzles. And I was struggling with those triangles despite realizing that they were gonna be important failing to see a lot of them. There we go, that is a nice puzzle. Let's just at least check that the rows and columns work. Thanks very much for coming with me on that journey. It didn't feel simple at all. Um, nearly a half hour video out of what probably was a much more straightforward puzzle than that. I'll be intrigued to see um, how people report their times on this one. It, I found that pretty tough. Thanks very much to William Arbuckle for sending it. And uh, thank you to you for watching. Do stay safe. Hope to see you soon again on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.